In this video, I'm going to teach you how to create your own Minecraft server for Minecraft 1.20 and how to join your server, how to fix any issues you might have along the way, how to have your friends join, all of that we cover in this video. Let's get started. Now, before we start making a server for Minecraft 1.20, I have to let you know a couple of things. The first thing is that this is a local hosted server. This is a server that you're going to host on your own computer. And even though you could port forward it and play with friends, all those people that you are going to invite to the server have to be people that you actually trust. And the reason behind that is that you're going to be giving out your IP address for people to join. And you might not know what your IP address is or what it means, but pretty much it's like the ID of your computer and it pretty much allows people to know where you are located in the world, like your exact coordinates. And you don't wanna be giving out that to people you don't trust. So obviously this is a server for friends. Another thing to keep in mind is that this server will be hosted on your own computer. That means that we'll be using your own hardware, your own software, everything within your own computer to run the server, which might mean that the server is limited. So if you don't have like a lot of RAM, this server won't have a lot of RAM, meaning that having multiple people might be a struggle when running the server. And also, since it's going to be running on your own computer, you will need your computer on 24 seven for people to join. Okay, so if you want people to join at any moment, you're gonna need your computer on with the server running for people to join, okay? Now, with that said, if you are looking to create a server where a lot of people could join and a server that you don't have to run on your own computer that could be open 24 seven, well then, instead of creating your own server, you could use something like Apex Hosting. Apex Hosting will create a server for you, be in Java or Bedrock, and this server will be open 24 seven, and you will actually have 24 seven customer support. And of course, this is a server that is online, so that means that you don't have to run it on your own computer, and people could join without using your own IP address, which could actually put your computer at risk, right? So, so if you want to create like an upgraded version of your server, Apex Hosting is a great platform. And the amazing thing is that for those of you that use the first link in the description, as usual, Apex Hosting is giving you 25% off your first server. I wish that was around when I created my server with Apex Hosting. And before we move on with the guide, I have to let you know something that I love about Apex Hosting, which is actually the factor that made me select Apex Hosting as the affiliate for this channel. And that is the fact that you could access the server console through your phone, really, really simple. Meaning that you could be away from home and you could kick out people from your server, you could change the server settings all from your phone. So now that you know this information, it's time to start creating the server. The first thing you want to do is click on that second link in the description, which will bring you to, of course, our reading guide on how to download and install a server. You can read through the guide and look at the screenshots, but if you just want to follow along, go ahead and scroll down and click where it says download file. Now, once you're over here, this is a Minecraft official website, you're going to click where it says download and then there's a little green line in here you're going to click that the minecraft server.jar go ahead and click in that that is going to start the download automatically in my case it's asking me where i want to save the file but that's just how i have it set up for most of you it's just going to download automatically now we have to wait for that file to download and while that file is downloading i do want to show you something in our guide if you look at the requirements in our guide you can see that any server above 1.16.5 and that is referring to the minecraft version will require you to have Java 17. So that is something to keep in mind. If you want to install a server for 1.20, you will need Java 17 on your computer. Not to worry because I'm going to teach you how to do that later on on this video. So let's get back into downloading the server. As you can see, we already have the server file downloaded. In my case, it says server nine, but for you, it's just going to say something like server. I'm going to go ahead and delete that because I know for you, it's just going to say something like server, just like that. And once you have the file, you have to create a folder for the server. So let's go ahead and create a folder and name it 1.20 uh, server, right? That's what I'm gonna name it. Now, all you have to do is drag and drop your server.jar file into this folder. Now, once you open the folder and you put your server file in there, all you have to do is create a new text document. So go ahead and click on new, right? Right click new, create a new text document and go ahead and open it. In this text document, what we're gonna do is go back into the Minecraft download website for the server file. And we're gonna copy this blue line in here. Make sure you copy this whole blue line in there, right? Go ahead and click Control C, copy that blue line and then paste it within the text file. As you can see within the text document, we're gonna paste it in here and we're gonna change the name of this little Minecraft server that that jar into matching our file that we have in here. As you can see, our file name is server that jar. We have to make sure that it actually says that in here as well. So as you can see, now it says server that jar, as you can see, and now we have the matching name. Now, the next thing that we have to do in here is set up how much RAM we want to allow our server to have. In this case, the default setting is a gigabyte of RAM. As you can see, it's 1024 megabytes, which is a gigabyte. But if you want to do something like four gigabytes or five gigabytes, you just have to change this number to like four, right? Let's say that we want to do four. I actually recommend that you change it to 496, just like this. Just put it at 4096. There we go. 
and that is four gigabytes of RAM. I do recommend that you inspect your computer and know how much RAM you have in order to know how much RAM you want to allow your server to have. In my computer, I have 64 gigabytes, so I could allow easily my server to have four gigabytes. As a matter of fact, I could give it eight or 16 gigabytes of RAM, right? So that is something that you have to find out yourself. Once you have that in there, go ahead and click file, click save as, right, right here. And then in here, we're gonna type the following in the file name. We're gonna type run.bat, just like that. Run.bat, and we're gonna change the file type into all files, and then click save, right? Go ahead and click save. And as you can see, we now have a run.bat file. We could actually delete this new text document. We could delete it now, and we should have the run.bat file. Go ahead and double click on that. And that is going to start running your 1.20 server in the background. Just give it a second. As you can see, it's creating a lot of files and the installation of the server should have stopped by itself after a little bit. And a file name ULA should appear. As you can see, we have a ULA file. That is a ULA file that we have to accept. We have to accept the terms of the ULA, meaning that we have to change the ULA equal false to true. So all you have to do is change the false word to true. Make sure there's no spaces after click file, click save, close that, and then rerun the server by clicking the run.bat file. Now, before we do run the server, I do have to let you know that if you had any issues running that BAT file earlier, that is because you have the outdated Java version. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna show you how to download and install Java 17. So watch this video until the end. Right now, we're just gonna run the server for those of you that are having no issue, but for those of you that are having some issue, stay until the end, okay? So let's go ahead and click on run that BAT, and that should start the server, and the server should start running with no issue. As you can see, it's preparing the spawn area. Pretty much our Minecraft 1.20, as you can see, this is a 1.20 server. If you look at the top, we actually have to wait for the server to be created in order to check the top. This is a 1.20 server. As you can see, this is a 1.20 server file. And yeah, we have created a server. Let's go ahead and stop the server. In order to stop it, all you have to do is type stop. There we go. And we have stopped the server. Now we just created a Minecraft 1.20 server. But now a couple questions come in mind, right? How do you join your server? How do you invite your friends? And also what to do if you had any issues installing the server? The issues that you might face are related to Java. So in order to fix those, all you have to do is, so in order to fix those, all you have to do is click on the third link in the description, which is our written guide on how to download and install Java 17. As you can see, it's a very simple step process. All you have to do is download Java, following the screenshots in here, then you click install, and then you just install it. That's it. Now, after you install Java, you might have to run a jar fix, which is literally a two-step process. You download jar fix, you run jar fix, and that's it. So that is pretty much how to download and install Java 17. Go ahead and read through this guide. I do recommend that you pay attention and you follow along. And the other question that you might have right now is how do you join your own server? In order to join your own server, all you have to do is find your local IP address. In order to do that, what we're gonna do is click where just type here to search, and we're gonna type command prompt, just like that. Go ahead and open your command prompt. And once your command prompt is open, all you're gonna do is type ipconfig right here on this line. Just type ipconfig just like that and then press enter. That is going to give you some information about your computer and your internet connection. All you have to do in here is look for a line called ipv4 address. As you can see, I have my ipv4 address in here. And all you have to do is copy the last numbers of that IPv4 address. Go ahead and select the numbers, right? It's numbers, there's no letters, and then press Control C, and then you could close your command prompt. Go ahead and close that. Now go back to the server folder and look for a file called server properties. Go ahead and right click on the server properties and open it with your notepad, right? I'm gonna use notepad plus plus, but you could use regular notepad. Once you're in here, you're gonna look for a line called server IP. As you can see, we have a server IP right here, this little line in here. And all you have to do is paste that IP before address in that little line in there. Now, I do recommend that you still select your IP address and you control C to copy it before we close the file. So once you found the IP address, go ahead and paste it in there, but it's still selected and copy it because that is the way that you're gonna join your own server now. So let's go ahead and close this file. Obviously save it before you close it. And now let's go ahead and run the server. Double click on the run.bat file. And in the meantime, while the server is running, go ahead and open your Minecraft game. Go ahead and open your Minecraft 1.20. Now, once your Minecraft game is open, all you have to do is click on multiplayer. And as you can see, you might have different servers or you might not. And all you have to do in here is click add server. And where it says server address, we're going to paste that local IPv4 address that we copied earlier. You can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it Minecraft or actually 1.20 server as well. And then click done. And as you can see, your 1.20 server is right here. And if we click play, we start joining our world. And if we look on the server console, we actually just join the world. If you look right here on the right, we just join our own world. And that is the way that you're going to join your own Minecraft server. If you are wondering how to OP yourself, how to become an admin, all you have to do is click OP on the console and then type your username. It's Cuba. And as you can see, I've been named an operator. If you look down here on the game, I just made myself an operator. Now, the other question that you might have right now 
is how to have your friends join your own server. In order to have your friends join your own server, you need to port forward the server. And lucky for you, we made a video on how to port forward the server, which should be coming up right now on the screen. And I do recommend that you go watch it right now so you can have your friends join your server. So yeah, I'm gonna leave that video there and I hope you enjoyed this guide. So make sure you watch that video right now to have your friends join. And yeah, what are you waiting for? Go watch that video right now.